Here are the most life-changing things that I've learned in 2023. There's not many of them. That's because they're the most important. I truly learned to appreciate silence. I went on a, not a date necessarily, but a hangout with someone. And she felt the need to fill in gaps in conversation. I said, what about I challenge you and us to walk for five minutes without saying a word? I said this to her. This is the first time we hung out. And she said, yes. So we just walked for, I think we spoke before the five minutes was up, but we walked for a few minutes without speaking. And it was nice. We were still, we were still actually engaging with each other even without speaking. Like we're both looking at the same things and we crossed the road and I like gestured to her and wait and she's look, she looks at me and we look at the road and we're going, but we're not talking. That's, that's cool. People feel the need to fill gaps in conversation and I don't think you should do it. I think you should try and get comfortable with the silence. Now, thankfully, the people in my Peaky Pines community, Peaky Pines email community description, are pretty good at this. Oh, we're on, on our weekly live streams. So that's nice. The reason it's important, just before I go on to the next point, is that you get to, it's it's you're naturally more present with whoever you're interacting with. You're more relaxed, less stressed. You actually think about your next words and you have a better conversation. Sometimes it's just hard though when, likely enough, the person you're interacting with, unless they're a good friend of yours, they're not going to be comfortable with silences so they'll fill in the gaps in conversation if you don't. So silence brings presence, connection and calmness. Know that. Second thing I've learned, second most life-changing thing I've learned, this is in, in numerical order, by the way, to dive into the depths of the unknown. I spoke about this recently, but when I decided just in January 2023, a few months after I finished, finished high school, that I was going to move out in March 2023, that was a shock to myself that I had decided that, actually. And it was a shock to my mother, especially. Significantly, actually. She, you know, did not expect that. And I used all my own funds that I built up over the past couple of years, minus the three grand that I lost in the business venture. And I dipped from New South Wales, Australia and went to Melbourne into an unknown city I'd barely ever been, I'd barely been in, honestly, and sorted out all these different Airbnbs to stay up until the date where I can move into my new place because I'd, I'd found a place by myself, I'd found a job by myself, turns out with a government agency, and all this, this, all these lifestyle, significant lifestyle changes. I had no family in the state, everything in my life had changed. I, I'd actually made a decision to do so. And that was it, you know. Everything was unfamiliar to me. I was now an adult living on my own. Everything. Was, I was financing my life and I was a man now. That came with struggles. Like getting evicted. But it was beautiful. And it's led to so much growth and experience, you know, for myself. And I just had to make the decision to leave the nest and to venture into the unknown. When you do something like that, things can go wrong, but it's all just right. It's not actually bad, the uncertainty. Even if it brings struggles, it's not bad. It is experience and you're living life. So don't be afraid to live life. Even if shit is going wrong, Maybe it's going right. Number three, <clears throat> the third thing 
is that barn me is very, very good. You know what? The third thing is something I've just realized more so now. Sometimes you need to let go of expectations of yourself, lower your expectations, increase your standards. And sometimes you need to let go of beliefs that you have that may be limiting you. That may mean you need to look within every once in a while and say, what beliefs do I currently hold? Brainstorm them all. Which of these are not really helpful as for where I, where I want to go? Okay, these ones. Like when people say, get rid of the beliefs that don't serve you. Yeah, those ones. Also means you need, need to let go of judgment of yourself. There's no point just judging yourself or judging other people. Maybe that let go of those thoughts, those thoughts that judge you and judge others. I don't think I don't think they're needed. I think they can be noticed, but you don't need to fixate on that. That guy is just walking weird. He's got this weird long hair, and he got some. Just looks like oh, what's wrong with this guy, man? Let go of it. Let go of those thoughts, man. Let go of those thoughts. Yourself, you're like fuck. Relapsed again. What a fucking idiot. I don't even think I fully worked out how extensive let go extends to life. But you know, I'm gonna leave that point there. Number four. Gotta be honest with you. Number four. Fucking number four. Lucky last. Having a sense of purpose, a sense of direction, and having an idea or a sense of who you are as a person, and also who you want to want to become as a person, you know, who you're trying to embody right now, kind of person you're trying to be. That is like, I'm not saying it's the solution to so many things, but it sort of is the solution to so many things. Or it's a lot, it's, it's the... It's so important. Like, I could, I've honestly come up, you know, all the different topic ideas I've had for my different channels throughout 2023, I was like, honestly, like, purpose, direction, and getting to know you, like, knowing who you are and having a sense of yourself and a certainty in who you are. Applied to, like, fucking 95%, man. 95%, absolutely. I didn't even intend it. Like, I didn't, it was just, because I was aware of its importance, so it, it came to mind when I was writing video ideas, that was it, you know? Whether it's in the description or whether you're going to have to go to one of the other links down there, I mean, you know, I made a resource, the 10 questions to find your purpose, which were, people found them so, like, that, that blew up, that resource. It was the first resource I ever made and it blew up, right? Because people fucking needed it. People need, people are lacking that direction. They don't know who they are. They don't know where they're going. Don't know why they do things. I've got all that now. So I learned 2023 how important that really is. You know, number five, connect with people. Really be there with your family. Really be there with your friends. Really be there when you're fucking going for a walk. Not just connecting with people, connecting with everything. Really be there when you're going for a walk. Slow down. So you can do all this, so you can, you can do so. People are what make life good. I've been lonely here in Melbourne. While I've had, a, I had a super good 2023. It was a great, it was one of the best years of my life. But down in Melbourne, I was pretty well alone. Still am. And that made... You know, I wasn't able to, it was, I, I don't really go to festivals and all that different stuff. Because, like, you just go, you're going alone. You need to experience things with people. And you need to be able to share life and struggles with people, with others. And everything in your life can be going just right. But if you've got no one there by your side, there's always fucking something missing. Then you wind up either lonely or with intimacy problems. Besides yourself, only people are there to support you. So you know, that's the five things. Number one was... 
Fuck knows. Check the timestamps. I hope you enjoyed. Join the Peaky Pines email community. Um, if that if that's not linked, whatever, just check the description for that. Maybe the ten questions to find your purpose. And besides that, I'll see you later. Take care.